Hey y'all, it's Savannah. I hope you're all doing well during this quarantine time. I know it's really, really hard, especially when you can't see your horse. Um, thankfully, I've never had to go through anything like that, but I cannot imagine what it's like for those of you that can't see. Um, so I put a poll up on my YouTube channel's community page and asked what do you guys wanna see because I have some extra time, I'm not working right now. And a lot of people said that they wanted to see my quarantine barn routine. And I'm guessing mostly because a lot of you can't see your horses. So I'll just let you live vicariously through me today, I guess. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I'll generally head out to the barn between 8.30 and 9.30, and as you see, there's a kitty cat waiting on me. Tombstone and Betty are the ones I keep in the stalls right now. I feed the cats first thing, because if I don't, I trip on them, and that's not cool. Feeding the horses is next. Alright, Tombstone gets her grain soaked at the moment, because she has a tooth problem, and we are actually getting it looked at. She had a fractured tooth in the past, so soaking her feed's super important right now until we can get it looked at because she's having problems eating her food properly. And I normally will cover it up to keep gnats off of it. Next, I will get Nobby's food ready. She gets growth. She doesn't get a lot. She's a little bit chub chub right now. So Nobby is out in a pasture by herself at night. And going out there, I forgot to get the dogs, so I'm getting the dogs out of this tack room. We keep them in there because they're older and they're arthritic. And if we don't put them up, they will run around like crazy dogs all night and make themselves really sore. So we just keep them from doing that by keeping them up. So next, I see Navi, and she is so excited to eat. Comes running up every time I feed her in the morning. And as you can see, she's pretty rough on her bucket. It's all hooked on the side of the fence, so I have to fix it. She uh, paws at it and like sloshes it around with her face. I guess it makes her food taste better that way. I'm not quite sure the logic in that, but whatever floats her boat, you know? While Navi and Tombstone are eating, I will move this stall around. I have an outdoor stall set up for Tombstone that she goes out in like a few minutes every day. So she can just have some outside time and I normally will move it every morning and put her out in it afterwards just so she has a fresh patch of grass to eat on and nibble on. As you can see, she kind of like scoots through the gate because she's so excited to get in there. Um, but she's actually pretty calm when she goes in there, which is good. As long as she has food, she will stay still for sure. All right, after Tombstone goes out, I have Betty left. Betty does not get fed in the morning. She only gets fed in the evening because she takes so long to eat and she has to eat by herself because she takes so long. So she only gets fed in the stall. She is one of my only horses that are clipped. So I will blanket her accordingly for that day. We've been having some pretty warm days here lately, but today it was really cold. As you can tell, I'm wearing a vest and a coat. I checked the weather app and it said it was supposed to get warmer. So I took her medium off and I decided to put a light sheet on. This is my nifty blanket rack. I just wanted to put this in here because I stole this idea from a friend and it's been like the best thing ever. The blankets don't drag the ground or anything, but if you're short, it probably won't work. Sorry. So I'm putting one of her sheets on today. I grabbed two sheets because I thought I was going to blanket another horse. But as soon as we went outside, it, the sun came out and it got warm. So I aborted mission on that. I'm putting Betty's bra on, also known as a sleazy. But I like to call it a bra because it's funnier that way. Bras are usually used for blanket rubs on their shoulders. And Betty started getting some pretty significant ones about a month ago. So I got this one off of Amazon for like $35 and I've actually been pretty happy with it. So if you're in the market for one of these sleazies, highly recommend that one. Next we're putting our blanket on because you gotta wear a shirt when you have a bra. Next I'll untie my horse that doesn't actually tie. As you can see we're going outside and the sun is out. So here I am contemplating my life choices. Coming up, I generally will ride about four horses a day. Today I'm only going to do two because I've got one that had an abscess and this guy right here actually went on a 10 mile trail ride yesterday so he gets the day off. He worked hard but he always comes up. He's like, hello, do you have anything for me to eat? Sorry dude, you're not the one I want. So the other two are way back there. 2,000 years later. Finally made it back here. Um. This is Amarillo and Wicked. Amarillo on the left 
is Carson's. Wicked on the right is mine. And I'm actually gonna ride Amarillo today, just some walking. She's coming back from a two year hiatus. So we're just doing some walking today. And then Wicked, hi. Wicked we're doing a soundness check on because she actually had a abscess in her right front. And I've been itching and scratching to get back on her back. And it's been a little bit over a week. And I'm ready. But her foot may not be ready. I don't know. We shall see. I had to tie the girls up. I forgot to get their grain ready. Whoever I'm riding for the day, I'll generally put in the paddocks. That way they're easier to catch. And it's just Amarillo and Betty today. Betty gets to stay out in the pasture because she's special. Next, I did my sound check on Wicked. And she looked pretty good there, except for one weird step. So I was like, well, I'm going to do it one more time. And she looked pretty good. So, you know, of course, I had to run her up and down the driveway one more time to make double sure. Pretty happy with how she looked. It was time to feed her. I also fed Jax outside. I just didn't film it, but trust me, he got food too. Next are stalls. And I don't know if y'all saw Jill's quarantine barn video, but I was super impressed by her TikTok skills. So I decided to give it a go and I kind of impressed myself. And you know, if there's two stalls, I gotta do two stall transformations. So boom, poop is gone and so is the cat. Next we'll move on to hay. Betty rarely finishes her hay, so Tombstone's my resident vacuum cleaner and generally finishes it up for me. I'm going to turn Wicked out now because she's finally done eating. I'm giving her lots of scratches and hugs and loves because I'm so excited that she's sound again and I can hop on her because I've missed riding her the last, last two weeks so bad. So, hooray to that. I will ride her tomorrow. After all my non-working horses have been turned out for the day, I like to blow out the barn and then do my waters to keep them cleaner. And now that my barn is all clean, I will grab my first horse of the day, which is Betty. I've already put Tombstone back in her stall at this point, and Navi is trying to help me lead Betty in. And as you can see, I'm super confuzzled by that, and just keep rolling. Navi, Navi, don't chew on my, she's chewing on my camera thing. No, please stop. I know, I know you love to bite them. No. Bad point. No, you can't eat it. So since we've been put on quarantine, I've actually been doing something a little bit different with Betty. We actually spend a lot less time in the arena thus far and been spending more time out in the field and on the trails. And she actually started her trail riding career during quarantine because I wanted to get her out and let her do something different because we weren't having to focus really on competing. So I'm actually meeting some friends today following all the quarantine rules. Under 10, there were only four of us and we stayed six feet apart the entire time and brought our own trailers. So we're meeting some friends to go on a little trail ride. I just wanted to include some clips of our trail ride because Betty was so good. And let me tell you, if you told me we were doing this a year ago, I would have said, you're crazy, my horse can't do that because she just doesn't have the mental capacity to. But this quarantine, she's really gotten out a lot and she's really kind of spread her wings and bloomed at the trail and I'm so happy. Whoa! I did not realize that that um, trail ride was going to take as long as it did, but it's like afternoon, like late, late afternoon. <laughs> um. So yeah, I still have one more horse to work for today, but I didn't think it was going to take that long. Mm -mm. So I'm going to turn her out right quick. I um, didn't get to walk Tombstone this morning, so I'm actually going to go walk her in between one of my rides and then ride my second horse for the day. So woohoo! Who doesn't like walking a crazy horse that's on stall rest, right? What are you calling to your friends for? She's running to Navi. Or not. <laughs> when I hand walk Tombstone, I always, always, always 
put a chain on her nose. She just has been on SARS way too long and gets a little uncontrollable at times. And the chain is just a good way to get her attention back on me because she literally will run over you if you do not have something to stop her. I have to say though, yes, it is pretty late in the afternoon, but this is probably my favorite thing about being quarantined thus far is there is no time schedule, none. So it may have taken me all day to ride two horses. I haven't even run the second one yet, but to ride two horses, but it's not a big deal. I don't have an agenda. I don't have to do X, Y, and Z. I, I have all day to just kind of do what I want. So if I ran out of time to ride my last horse, I'd be like, well, guess I can't ride my last horse. There's no like time constraint, which is wild because probably since the time I was 16, I've had time constraints and I don't have them. I just, oh, that scared me. <laughs> I just do whatever I want. So that's pretty cool. After I get done with her walks, I generally will pick her stall out in the middle of the day or whenever it is that I get around her a walk and give her some treats or groom her just to kind of give her some interaction to help her stay sane. I am sure you guys are wondering when I eat. Um, I'm eating kahu right now. I normally eat lunch, but it's like five. Sorry, it's really rude to talk with your mouth full. But it's like five, five thirty right now. Ow! <laughs> so I have some cashews and an oatmeal cream pie in my pocket. I only have one more ride left, so I'd really like to get that done before I eat. I guess Leonard. Um, I normally don't do this because my trail rides normally don't last like five hours, but here we are. Um, so yeah, don't worry. I eat. Don't have to worry about my health. I eat. Trust me. I eat a lot. My next horse I'm going to ride is a little bit different than the normal horses I ride. She's actually one of our roping horses. She's had about two years off because Carson's been in school, so he hasn't been roping off of her, and he's pretty close to being done, so he asked me to finally start just legging her up a little bit so he's not having to spend so much time getting her back in shape so he can get back to roping. Of course, I was happy to do it because she's such an easygoing mare to ride for the most part. She has her mare days every once in a while, but I enjoy riding her. And she's been a part of the family for a really, really long time since me and Carson probably first started dating. Um, that he got her, so, you know, she's close and near to dear to both him and I. So, she's really different from what I normally ride, so I really enjoy hopping on her every once in a while. exercising her in the arena. I like to go out in this backfield here because the grass isn't super tall yet. And it's wide and... Uh, it's flat-ish, like it's pretty flat. I mean, compared to other other places, it's pretty flat. And it's just a nice place to hack around and look around, watch everybody. Try to stop me, try to stop me. I wanna head a bitch of mine. Baby, let me sleep tonight. The perfect over kind of drug, yeah. So just try to stop me, try to stop me. Oh no, when it hits my soul. Take me back and reload. Jigging back to the barn. Let's not. <laughs> um, hello, hi. Whoa. Shh, shh. I don't know what's going on. So we're just going back up for a second. 
She was really good. Um, it was her first time trotting under saddle in the field in a hot minute and cantered a little bit. And she was pretty happy-go-lucky about it all. A little weird with her left shoulder kind of popping it out. But I just used the inside rein to kind of put that back in. And she was pretty chipper. I had to um, force myself to not canter and trot too much because she is very easy to do that with like it's no thinking at all i don't know if it's a roping horse thing or if it's like a this horse thing but yeah so i'm about to untack her and she gets to go back out in the big field with all of her friends After I get Amarillo taken care of, I catch Betty and get all the grain ready for Betty and Tombstone for the night and tuck them both in for the night and we are done for the day. Well guys, that's it. Uh, I ran out of daylight. Uh, the sun is setting. So beautiful. Like it's not even there. The sun's gone. There. Oh. Um, so I kind of had to stop. Um, I didn't get around to walking tombstone the second round but oh well i mean it is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed kind of following me along today you kind of get the gist of it muck and do stalls in the morning ride and play with horses all day muck and do stalls in the afternoon it's it's the life right now i'm not gonna lie it's, it's pretty sweet um thanks for following me along again i will hopefully not be throwing her bucket around I will hopefully post some more content out before I have to go back to work. I already have some videos pre-filmed. I just haven't edited them yet. So I'm hoping I'll get to it on that and start posting some more. Um, let me know if you want to see anything else. And let me know if you have any questions, concerns. Hopefully not concerns. I don't want any concerns. Don't worry about me. I'm fine in my own bubble of happiness and horses. So. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.